The White House on Sunday declared Iran's first direct attack on Israel an abject failure, with 99 percent of missiles intercepted before they could hit. U.S. President Joe Biden cut short a weekend trip to his home state of Delaware to return to the White House Saturday, where he spent hours on the phone with world leaders or in meetings in the Situation Room. White House officials also told reporters that Washington does not back an Israeli counterattack. The Biden administration stressed one point on Sunday. The president has made it clear we do not seek a war with Iran. As daylight dawned, Israeli leaders sought to focus on what this attack means for solidarity against Iran, which backs the militant groups that struck Israel on October 7th and sent the region spiraling into violence. We have an opportunity here to establish a strategic alliance against this serious threat from Iran, which threatens to put nuclear explosives on the heads of these missiles. This thing could be a very serious threat. The U.S., Israel, and its allies stand shoulder to shoulder to defend against this threat. Tehran vowed to retaliate for the suspected Israeli strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus earlier this month. And Iran's ambassador to the United Nations argued Sunday that the consulate strike justified Iran's response. He stressed that Iran doesn't seek conflict with the U.S., but ended his speech with a warning. However, if the U.S initiate military operation against Iran, its citizen, or its security and interest, Iran will use its inherent right to respond proportionately. I thank you. Although Israelis expected this, it was still a harrowing night, many said the next day. Nobody knew what to expect. Everybody was whole waiting. So it was a totally new experience. Eventually, people were very relieved because the attack was blocked. The big question before Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is how Israel will respond. And I think Israel, in the way it's uh, calculating how it will respond uh, from now on, it also sees some opportunities for reversing the negative trend in its image within the West given what happened yesterday and the restraint that is now projecting in responding to that. As world leaders mull what's next, for the Palestinian families caught in the middle of this brutal conflict that has consumed Gaza, the question could not be more urgent. Anita Palvio at News, Washington.